السلام عليكم ورحمة الله This is Hani Ismail And in this video I want to explain for you how to show your progress uh, And make a custom uh, field or a custom column in your time schedule To show the delayed activities and the ahead activities using indicators or flag Actually, this is uh, could be a good uh, presentation for your schedule to highlight what activities are behind the schedule and what activities are ahead of the schedule. Although this method is very simple, but not uh, much of the planning engineers know it. So I think it will be a good idea to know how easy and effective you can uh, use this method. First of all, we are going to the enterprise and user defined fields. We are going to create a new field and we'll name it uh, like flags. Of course, you can name the field whatever you want, but here the important thing, the data type. We need to put the data type, not text. We need it to be as indicator. So here we are going to change the text type to indicator and that's it. We are going to close this window and now we have created a new custom columns in our database. We can use it later on. Now we are going to look for the criteria and you can use whatever criteria you want. However, I'm suggesting to use the uh, variance of the plan finish. So from the column here, I'm going to find the variance from the baseline, which will show me I'm going to use variance BL1 finish date. So I need to search for it where it is. It should be in the dates. Yes. So variance BL1, it means baseline one finish date. This is very good indicator for me. You can use whatever you want. You can use float, uh, total float column also. This could work. But I'm telling you the concept and you can apply it as you want. So here is the column. It shows for you the differences between the planned and the forecast finish date for each activity. Now we are going to show our new column and you are going to find it in the user defined fields, the flag column. And we'll show the flag columns like this. Now we need to change the indicator in each cell or each row to identify whether it is green, it means ahead of the schedule, or it is red, it means behind the schedule. And of course, we are not going to do it manually. So we are going to do a global change. And I will name this global change as delayed flag. And I'm going to search where is the variance. Oh, I need to enlarge this column so I can see what is inside. Variance. PL1 variance PL1 finish date. This is my column is less than zero. It means it is negative. In that case, I'm going to add a condition here that the flag column will equal to red. So this is my delayed flag column. I'm going to uh, save my changes click OK it will be saved and I'll create a new one for the ahead activities and I'll call it ahead flag just to uh, find this uh, global change later on here's the same I'll find the baseline variance baseline variance baseline one finish date Uh, 
It should be somewhere here. Yes, here it is. And in that case, I'll make it greater than zero. Also here, the condition, I will add the flag column should show me a green status. And I'll click OK. Now I'm going to run the two uh, global changes and see what is going to happen. Here the, the log telling you what is the changes already made and you need to say committed changes and asking you the program whether you or not you want to save the log. I will not save the log. And it is running now, the ahead flag. Now I need to do the same for the delayed flag. Just I'll click apply changes, click yes. And I'll commit changes. I don't need the log. And here close. Now you can see here that the indicator works perfectly. Now whatever is ahead of schedule will be marked as green, and whatever behind the schedule will be marked as red. And of course, you can change the values. You can put uh, whatever uh, criteria you want. But I see that this method is useful even if you are going to make a presentation for your project manager or you want to show how the project is performing so easily you can catch the colors whether it is green or red and i hope you will find this uh, video useful for you thank you very much see you in the next one